This camper just moved to Kaka'ako Makai. Alvin Wayne James became homeless July 1st after his landlord decided to put his Kalihi home up for sale. I mean, I came here because the cops were running me from everywhere else I went. So I said, yeah, maybe I'll go out to Kaka'ako because it seems like all those guys out there, nobody bother. But now he can't stay here either. This afternoon, city crews began notifying homeless living along the entrance to Kaka'ako Waterfront Park that come next week, Tuesday, the area will be off limits. Plainclothes officers handed out flyers making sure the illegal campers know they risk losing their goods if they ignore the warnings. Officials have decided to try this different tact of phase enforcement on our growing homeless crisis. We believe this is going to work. And it's, we're not going to give a de end date as to when it's going to be completed because it really does depend on making sure this area, once we do the enforcement, is kept open and clear. And if it is, we'll move more quickly. If it takes longer, we'll take longer. So for now, there's lots of notice and lots of outreach. The city and state hope to be able to use this model here in Kaka'ako at other homeless camps across the state. It involves keeping track of the homeless and managing their cases wherever they go. Even if people leave a location like Kaka'ako, uh, we know who they are and we know what their needs are. So if they have pets or other kinds of unique issues, uh, we have that in our database. It remains to be seen how successful officials will be at reducing the population here. The state homeless coordinator says its outreach efforts have managed to get another 15 people off the streets in Kaka'ako this week, including three families. Our goal is to place all 31 of the families that were identified in the Partners in Care survey into shelter or other housing options by the end of the year. Morishige says the state's on target to have at least half of them off the streets by the end of next month. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.